Hello, Andy Clockwise here, and it's the 19th of March 2021, which means it's Tommy Cooper's 100th birthday today. Happy birthday, Tommy Cooper. I'm a great fan of Tommy's, um, always have been. I, I think he's hilarious, and he's one of very few people that I can still watch to this day, and I laugh out loud. I know the gags, I know what's coming, but you still cannot fail to laugh. I'm just thinking of him, and he's making me smile. An, an incredibly funny guy. Um, I would have loved to have met him. Um, I do have a small collection of Tommy Cooper bits and pieces, which I'll share with you now. It's not a lot. It's not a lot, but I've got a few bits and pieces. We'll start with this. Um, I've got a few Tommy Cooper books put out by John Fisher, who produced a lot of the Tommy Cooper shows on TV. Uh, but this is my favourite. If, if Tommy Cooper was to have had a scrapbook, um, it would look like this. I think it would look like this. Um, inside here, there's loads of photos. Um, uh, contracts, um, TV magazines, uh, bits of script, um, uh, set lists that he would write down, photos of the tables, how he wanted each table set out with his props on. It's just it's just a, an incredible book. There's so much information in here. And um, yes, yeah, so this is uh, Tommy Cooper, just like that, put out by uh, John Fisher. I think it was 2012 it was released, but they can be picked up on eBay quite cheap. Now, speaking of eBay, a lot of the autographs that I've picked up over the years have come from eBay, but you've got to be careful though. There's a, there's a lot of fakes out there. And so how do you know what's genuine and what's not? Well, I guess the best thing to do is to study, study them. There's lots of examples of Tommy Cooper autographs out there. Um, his autograph did change over the years. Um, this, let me show you, find an, an example of an early one. See, these, these, are, these are earlier examples. If you can see that, I'm trying to, trying to peer around it and look at the screen while I'm trying to get a, a good angle on that. So that would be a, an early example of a autograph. Um, and I guess that this could be dated because signed on the other back is um, uh, Betty Jumel. So if you find out who Betty Jumel was and when she was touring and what she was doing, obviously that's on the same uh, page in the autograph book that this came from. You can kind of get an idea of date of, of when that would have been signed. But that is uh, is an early earlier example. There's, a, there's another early example here. This is a black and white photo. Apparently Tommy used to carry around black and white photos in his wallet. And if anybody asked for a signed photo, he would take one out and, and sign it for him. And there's, um, a, again, an earlier version. Let me try and get this of his um, autograph. And there's a, there's a better close up of the, the black and white photo. I've actually got two of these in this little pile somewhere um, to Peter Tommy Cooper. Um, this is. Uh, to Moira, very best wishes, Tommy Cooper. It's magic. Again, it's it's an earlier example of his autograph. This this is uh, much later. This is earlier. Um, oh, here's the other here's the other side photo, the, the, the little black and white photo, and signed on the back. Best wishes, Tommy Cooper. Thank you. There's there's uh, there's someone's address written on the back here as well. And when I bought this, I bought this from eBay many, many years ago. Uh, the lady that sold it to me sent me a, a covering letter to explain um, uh, just to whoever this may concern. Uh, this is to certify that the signature on the photograph is genuine. I was working at the, um, the Gourmont restaurant in the mid fifties at the time that Tommy Cooper was appearing in the Gourmont theater. So again, it's, it, Good way of dating an autograph there. Um, I was fortunate enough to be able to go backstage and get the enclosed signed photo. Please ignore the address on the back of the photo, as I'm ashamed to say, it's just an address of a friend who was leaving and she thought it was just an old photo. So she wrote on it. <laughs> but anyway, a nice, nice little bit of provenance to, to, to go with the photo there. And then there's, uh, he had several caricatures. So this is probably his uh, most famous uh, caricature. He signed an awful lot of these, but I also understand that Gwen, his wife, signed a lot on his behalf. So if you see a discrepancy, it may have come from the, the, the Tommy Cooper estate, let's say that, but it may not have come from the hand of Tommy Cooper. Um, so there's, there's one, I've got a couple of, and again, I've got a couple of those, which you both signed. This one's to Louise, Tommy Cooper. 
this one's just a Tommy Cooper. Again, that's that's an earlier example of his autograph there. There's a, a caricature card there, which is not signed. A stamp. Um, so here's, here's another one. Now, this is the only one of these I've ever seen of this caricature. And uh, th there's, a, there's a small note on the back where Tommy has, it looks like Tommy has sent something to somebody, sent them two, two ties, two hand ties. It looks like he's sent two hand ties to somebody um, as a thank you for their interesting letter that they'd sent him. So again, let's try and get that. I don't want to take up too much time here, so I'm going to rush, rush through. Um, what's this one here? A lot, of, a lot of this I've forgotten about. Um, there's another one here to, to Preston, Tommy Cooper. Again, again I would, that's a, a much later version of Tommy's autograph. That one there. And interestingly, on the back to Preston, it looks, it looks like it could be Keith Harrison Orville. This looks like the uh, a bit of the uh, the Orville's been taken off there. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. It might not be Keith Harrison Orville, but I mean I've never I've never actually looked up a Keith Harrison Orville signature, but uh, it could be that. Um, and then lastly, in this little pile that I have here is a program for a a Grand All Star Garden Fate, which was in aid of the Variety Artists Benevolent Fund. Official opening by Ruby Murray at 1.30 p.m. Doors closed 12 noon, souvenir programme, but there's no date on it. But I guess a quick uh, look on Google and I could find out the information. And it's signed by a few of the people there. So just inside there, so it's signed by uh, Ruby Murray, who was the uh, guest of honour. And there's uh, some other autographs in here. Uh, Pearl Carr and Teddy Johnston have signed it there. And you can see there's another autograph down the bottom here. That is Stan Stennett. And then there's the, the photo that Tommy used. It looks like that little black and white one. Just realised that. That's a little black and white photo of Tommy Cooper. But it's not signed there. But he has signed it on the, on the back with a few other people. Uh, let's just see if there's any more signatures in here before I go to the very back page. Uh, yeah, so there's, there's, there's the back page, and if I again catch the light, you can see that there's Tommy Cooper's autograph down the bottom. There. That's quite a nice piece. Again, it, it, it dates, well, I say it dates if I can find out what the date was, but it actually puts Tommy there. So there's no doubt in my mind that this is genuine. Uh, but then there's no doubt in my mind that all of this stuff is uh, genuine. This is quite a nice uh, piece here. These are in no particular order, just <laughs> the order that I'm picking them up. Um, after Tommy had passed away, the Magic Circle auctioned off some of his uh, bits and pieces. And um, this this is one of the pieces. Now, it wasn't mounted and framed like this. I, I had this mounted and framed. Uh, all that was auctioned off here is the, the playing card. And this is one of those playing cards where the pips move around. And you can see a, a picture there of Tommy. He had, he had several of them, I guess. Uh, but this is one that came from his collection and I've just mounted it in the frame there with an autograph of Tommy's uh, with the um, with a black and white photo there. And I actually, I didn't get this at the Magic Circle auction. This um, came from Terry Seabrook's estate. So those of you that remember the late great Terry Seabrook, um, there was an auction of his bits and pieces after he passed and, and I picked this up at Terry's auction. So that's where I got this from. And it's got a certificate on the back there saying that he came from the Magic Circle um, auction. So that's, that's quite nice. Pop that down there. Let's take some of these off the wall to, uh, to show you. Uh, another one, this one here, this is nice. This is um, a program for a grand Christmas ball, the Royal Household Social Club, Windsor Castle. Now this is dated the 18th of December, 1964. And on the bill there, Diana Dawes, Tommy Cooper, Morecambe and Wise, um, presented and introduced by Peter Bruff. Remember the ventriloquist Peter Bruff and his puppet Archie Andrews. 
and uh, there's there's the autograph page from the uh, program there and you can see that it's signed by diana Dawes is up alongside there ernie wise and eric morgan peter bruff and archie and a nice big tommy cooper in the middle there just uh, see if i can get this so you can see it a bit better so um again this is this has come off the wall just <laughs> just to show you and then uh, we've got a few bits that aren't framed up at the moment this is um this is an animation cell so this was for a tv program classic cooper um from 1996 the animator was brian larkin and brian larkin's actually signed signed the back there so obviously tommy died long before this program was ever produced and it was just clips of uh, tommy's best bits classic cooper Self-explanatory, really, but this is just one of the animation cells that they used in the opening sequence, which is uh, quite nice. And uh, lastly, what I'll show you is probably uh, my favourite. These uh, drawings were commissioned by Tommy, by an artist, uh, Julia Clout. Now, Julia Clout was married to Tony Clout, and Tony Clout was a musical director at the uh, Circus Tavern, where Tommy used to frequent. He used to work there quite a lot. And uh, uh, Tony used to be a, a stooge for Tommy on a, on a few occasions. Well, Tony's wife, uh, Julia, was commissioned by Tommy to do a, um, I guess it's a caricature, caricature of him, that he wanted to use for his promotional material. And it was signed off. The final draft was signed off just two weeks before sadly tommy passed away so this this is um there's, there's there's two there's two here one would be the um a sketch and one would be the the final draft this one's dated the final draft this one here with the red hat that's dated uh final draft for tommy april 84 and he i mean that's when he died april 84 so it was just a couple of weeks before he passed away and this must have been a slightly earlier version that um, they that actually signed for her uh, to Julia. Love Tommy Cooper. Not like that, just like that. So um, these, I think, are the two uh, favourites in my Tommy Cooper collection. Well, that's all I've got. I, I, I said that I didn't have much and um, and I don't, but it, it, it's more than some and I'm happy with the collection that I have. And I hope that you've enjoyed looking at it. Um, yeah, and that's it. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Happy birthday, Tommy. Cheers.